Hello everybody and welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. Today's topic is Top 5 Books You've Devoured. I decided to set myself, as usual, some form of rule and so I only chose books that I devoured between January 1st of 2013 and now because I wanted to talk about newer books that I really devoured. So when I say devoured, I mean something that I couldn't put down when I was reading it. And whenever I did put it down, I was thinking about picking it back up, like constantly on my mind, and then also sort of put me in a book hangover when I finished, like didn't want to read anything else when I finished it, and was just so stuck in this world that it just sort of followed me around. The only order on this list is the order in which they were read. So five being the one that I read the furthest away and one being the one that I read most recently. So let's get to it. These are my top five books or book series in some cases that I devoured from 2013 to now. Number five on this list is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland and a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. I read this at the very, very start of 2013 because I picked it up on my Kindle because it was one of those, you know, like, top Kindle reads of, you know, whatever year, blah, blah, blah. I was blowing a gift card. Damn, did I make a good choice. I was so lost in this world that Miss Valente created and I just couldn't stop reading this lilting prose of hers and I was just in love with that book and I had not known there was a sequel until way later in 2013 and only then did I actually go pick up, um girl who led the revels there and then of course um uh, sword over the moon whatever the third one is it's something about flew over the moon sword over fairyland and cut the moon in two i knew i'd think of it number four on this list is clockwork princess by cassandra clare i mean in general i devoured the entirety of the infernal devices but Clockwork princess okay i was abroad in london at the time and i'd pre-ordered it to come to my kindle so the moment I knew it was going to be up, I opened up my Kindle, had it download, and just said, nobody talk to me. I literally, like, blocked out most of that day so I could read and was just like, oh my god, reading this on my Kindle. I couldn't stop, didn't stop until I finished, so read it in one power sitting and was just, boom, mind blown with epic amazing finale to that trilogy. Number three on this list is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. You've already seen I've done a review discussion on this. I rave about this book all the time so it should be no surprise to anybody that when I first read it I devoured it. I absolutely loved it start to finish, was completely engrossed, couldn't stop thinking about it and this book put me in such a book hangover. I just Every time I read it, I just keep thinking about it. And then it's a really phenomenal book. And as I've said, anybody who's a fan of dystopia, fantasy, strong female characters, really complex and crazy good world building, and actually elements of sort of classic literature in the way that it's written, should definitely go and check out this book. Number two on this list is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. When I read this book, I absolutely was in love with it. It was just so whimsical and fantastical. Just so lovely. I, I don't know, it's just one of those books that to me was so lovely. I dived into it, didn't want to leave it, and it was just wonderful. And number one on this list is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas. This should come as no surprise to anybody. I tore through Throne of Glass, and then subsequently tore through Crown of Midnight. I just, oh, you guys, these books are so much fun. These are like everything I love in fantasy literature, and it's just, it's so much fun. I just love that series from start to finish. It's just amazing, and, but that's it for me tonight. You guys, so until next time, cheers.